to this galaxy thing, which is known as the Good Egg Galaxy. Why? I guess there's an egg. Ah. Right. So I guess that's our destination. Is it actually picking up from this distance? Sweet! Alright. We have heroic music and we're ready to go. I'm going to be speeding a little bit more through this than I normally would. I'm not entirely sure how many star bits I'll actually get. I usually get all of the star bits I can, but I think you'd be bored halfway to death if I did. So I'll just be getting the ones I come across. Now these boulders are a little bit strange. They will punch you for massive damage if they hit you. And they're generally unpleasant to deal with. Will you deal with them? Ow! Not like that. Um, see that red dot on them? Spin on that. Like... Not that. Can't do it on camera, damn it. Apparently I really suck at this game. Who the dunk it? Oh. Come on, I want to destroy at least one of them. There we go. That's how you do it. It's honestly more trouble than it's worth, so... Where's that last thing I'm missing? Oh, there it is. There we go. Five out of five, and we can move on. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Um, jump this guy because he is jerk. Now, this thing will just pop up in a massive amount of star bits. Which you can, of course, get. Because it is nice, and you're gonna need them later anyway. These little things would latch onto you and make you slow, and I'm destroying stuff way faster than anything else. This thing, this, this thing is interesting. You can use it to basically destroy stuff. Don't get hit by the flashback. It will basically send you flying. Every 50 star bits you get, you get an extra life. Useful! Although it is fairly easy to stack 99 lives in this game. That in there is a black hole. Fall into it, die! Obvious. And over here we have that guy. Punch him once, he dies. He is really kind of a boss. There's also another way you can do this, but I'm not gonna show that off. Why? Because... I don't know. Stealthy guy, but he has a lot of star bits. As I said, I won't be collecting all of them, but what I'll collect is the convenient amount. Also, back here, there's an extra life. In case you need it. Also, you're gonna need a few star bits here and there, so, um... If you're playing with the, along the at home, make sure to stack up on a few. I do believe this. Oh, I didn't... I got them all! Aha! <laughs> and... Boss time! Oh, come on, you'd seen that coming. Now, thing I like to do before actually going ahead and doing anything to him is to just run around and collect these things. Right then. Right now, we can't do a whole lot to this thing, so... Smack its tail! That's generally how you're going to have to defeat this thing. Yoink! That's one hit. Now he's mad. And you'd think that would make him more dangerous, but not really, no. Now he's jumping mad. You'd think that would make him dangerous, but again, not really, no. 
This guy is ridiculously easy, actually. All right. We one star, and we've got it. Da 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 da. So that's the first normal star of the game. We now have two out of one hundred and twenty. This is gonna be a while, people. I hope you like this game because it's definitely gonna take a while. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. And now he explains to us about gathering star bits and throwing them at people. There we go. Basically, click the B button. It's on the back of the controller. If you don't know how Wii mode looks. If you don't, I question where you've been for the last past past few years. Anyway, back to the good gal galaxy we fly. Why? Because we can. A snack of cosmic proportions. Proportions. Was that what I said? I think that's what I said. Anyway. Oh, look. A hungry Luma. This time I'm going to have to farm a little bit, so I am going to run off the planet! Not really. Hey! Okay, so apparently the little guys hurt you if there's too many of them. You can also stun your enemies by shooting star bits at them, but they are way more valuable than you want to use for that. Ow! Hey! What gives? Um... How many star bits is it you're gonna need for this one? I think it's about 50. Then again, I might be completely wrong. Anyway, there's a pipe here. Go down the pipe and get out here. Here's an interesting challenge. Play the inside piece of music, and you get a mushroom of one of its proportions. And pipe. Welp. That was unuseful. Right, I think we might have enough to start actually doing something useful now. Okay. <sighs> These things are interesting. Basically, you click them and hold the A button and you will be... Gravitated towards them, I guess. Here's the swing star for the next planet, although I am going to just get a little bit more because I think you need 50 for this thing later on. Um, we could technically just skip this. Yeah, let's do that. Gives you a few extra star bits. And since you're straight onto the planet where this guy is. Let's see, how many do you need? A hundred! Ha <laughs> ha! We don't have that. See, this is what you're gonna get for this game. How do I normally have a hundred when I get here? 
Guess I must be farming more normally. In another king of pants. There has to be three more on this planet. Come on. Three? Just three? Steve! Oh well then. There we go. And you get to see this planet anyway. Not much here, just a couple of rocks. It's kinda why I didn't want to go here. Because I'm horrible at dealing with these things when you guys are watching. Well, you're not actively watching, but... You know what? Ow. See? Riven! Ah, damn it. Alright, I'll try once more. With kids. And driven no. Normally I can do this pretty darn good, but not now it seems. I might even go and die. Whoop and let's Start feeding this guy. Great little bastard. There we go. And he transforms into that thing. And gives us a shooting star today. So let's shoot off and be on our way. There we go. Now we can stop listening to that incessive noise. Okay, let's see. There is somewhere where we can get a free one up on this planet, if I'm not mistaken. No? Hmm. Well then. I'm just gonna skip a little bit ahead. Fancy wall jumping skills are fancy. I will try and constrain myself to not fancily wall jump everywhere, so I'll skip most of the levels. Because I can do that. But, where's the point? When you guys don't get to see the game, you know. I mean, like right here. That's basically all you have to do, and you're mostly done with this. So let's not do that. Whee! I mean, you can if you really want to, but... I'm kinda here to show off the game. Not to be fancy. See? But I skipped all that. And we can get a one-up mushroom. Again, the exit is right up here, so if we just did that and then the wall jumped off again, we would be done with this. But... That one show this part of the cylinder thing. Also, I really love how this game does random 2D-ish sections every once in a blue moon. And let's shoot out of the glass! Now, if you really want to, you can get the blue things, but I say, the heck with it. You can just do a long jump and get it. Works a lot better, in my honest opinion. So, that's how I'm gonna do it. <laughs> now, I'm probably going to do one galaxy a video. I'm not entirely sure. It kinda depends on how long the galaxies are. Regardless, we've discovered a new galaxy. It is the Honey Hive Galaxy. Regardless, we're not done with this one, so let's go back to this one. 
Also, I don't think I'm going to do a, an entire galaxy because sometimes there's special events that come up in between and it'll be messy. Basically, I'm going to do it just going in order with what comes up. Eh, I don't really have time for this. Oh well. Let's do this anyway. You know what? Heck with it, I say. You remember that pipe on the other side of the planet? Yeah, that's how we're supposed to get up here. Heck to it, I say. Now smack some of these coconuts off at a planet. We're gonna need them on the other side anyway. And we're also gonna need one for destroying this thing. Slinging ourselves up here. That's why we need one. Now where did that co- How? Where did that coconut go? Ah, this one. Ah, missed. Dang, nabbit. There we go. Pokey! And that gives us this thing, which will then fire us off to this direction. You can just skip this planet, but really, why would you when you can go down here and for the first time in the game, get the most useful power-up ever? Welcome to the Rainbow Star. Also known as the Starman. Suddenly we become super fancy and powered by the spirit of music. And not even powers can do anything to us. Good way to grind a few star bits. Let us fire off and get to this place. Um, sure. If you find a rock formation that's a circle, you can most likely get stuff out of it. Dum de dum de dum. And now towards the actual battle fleet. And getting a one up. Oh look! They shoot coconuts, which we fire back at them. And take care of both of them at the same time. How? Why? Don't care, don't roll. And a shroom. Why's the toad here? Hmm. General strangeness. Let us fly off towards this planet. Now he'll explain to you that you can do this if you need a coin. Personally, I don't need a coin, but I'll get it anyway. And... Bus time! Let's see. We Three fiery ones, you don't want to do anything with those. You do want to shoot the coconuts back at him, though. He'll then fire three fiery ones again, and a coconut. And now he starts blocking, and now he is jumping mad because we kicked his crown off. Death to the false emperor, I guess. Shoot a normal. Duh! Can't do anything about that. Normal once, twice, and Yahtzee. And Power Star get. Disappointing boss. It'll get better, don't worry. Four down! Only 116 to go. 
And we have taken care of most of Good, Ga Good Galaxy. I say most of it because there's a few more stars to be had. But that's it for this video. So I'll see you all next time. It's been Gizmo Have a nice night.